Good morning, everyone. Terry here with Profound Talent. Uh, welcome to my home office. <laughs> I guess uh, we're all well, all doing that these days. So here I am at my home office. Um, you know, this morning I was going to actually chat with you a little bit about coaching, but something kind of came to me in the shower this morning. Believe it or not, that's when I get some of my best ideas. And I wanted to share with you a bit more about a journey I went on a few years ago that related to myself and fear and anxiety. So I have panic disorders. Um, I do have a lot of fear in my life, or I have had a lot of fear in my life, and not really uh, understanding where that came from. And I've taken a journey of learning about that. And fear really comes from a place of wondering what the future holds, wanting to have control in the future, and not being able to have control of it. And I think what's happening right now with all this COVID-19 is that, of course, everybody has a lot of uncertainty. We have no control. We don't know what's going to be happening next. We don't know how long we're going to be in this. And so what's happening is a lot of people are feeling this fear, this anxiety, sometimes even depression. And depression, they say, is longing for the past. Um, and so I wanted to share with you a bit about how I got out of fear and anxiety and how I am pushing forward with hopes that maybe it might help you on your journey. So of course, with everyone having job losses and, and uh, financial challenges and all that kind of good stuff right now, um, we want to talk about how to get through that. So sometimes, um, you know, I don't know, a couple years ago, I guess, I had some family challenges. I had, was told I needed new hips. Um, and another hip replacement. I had just started my company and uh, ultimately I also had a relationship and it was like that last leg in the stool that fell apart. And that was the thing that I was holding on to that was keeping me moving forward and, and felt like there was somebody in my corner. And then when that person and I ended up um, ending things, it felt like everything fell apart. And it's sometimes when you hit rock bottom that you get awakened, I guess you could say, to something new in your life. And at that point, I started a bit of a spiritual journey. And I have not been somebody that had ever really um, gone to church growing up. I didn't have a real faith back. Background. It wasn't that I didn't believe, I just didn't um, ever practice it. And, and I met somebody who was really impactful to me and helped me come into a world of belief. Now, whether you have a belief in God, your creator, spirit, the universe, whatever you want to call it, and even if you don't have a belief system, it might be now that you start to get one. And the reason I say that is sometimes there are things that are just out of our control and having a belief in something bigger than us can also help us move forward. And so I started to go on this journey of believing in spirit, believing in the, the universe, believing that everything happens to us for a reason, believing that we are being awakened right now to um, ultimately help our earth, I guess you could say. So we are, you know, we've gone through pollution that we're now seeing that disappear. We've gone through people not being kind to each other. Well, now we're all coming back to this kindness. We are, you know, a society that bases everything on materialistic things and money, and now we don't have it. And so now we're having to look inwards, and we're having to look to our community, and we're having to look to spending time maybe in our environment. And it really is, in my mind, a bit of a spiritual awakening for all of us. And with that, I want you to, you know, try if you can to believe and to have trust in something higher than yourself. And the reason I say that is because we have no control of this right now. And I can tell you that we will come out of this and I can tell you that we will be stronger. Okay, so our camera just died. Gotta love that, the battery. So um, I'm just gonna carry on. I'm gonna be very brief here, but I guess what I'm getting at is, you know, we will come out of this, as I mentioned, and ultimately um, what I would like to ask all of you is to avoid that fear and that anxiety that you're feeling. The best way to do that is by actually living in the moment. So live in this moment. Take every second of every day and get through it. Um, Try, if you can, not to think too far into the future. Thinking into the future is not gonna help you. It's out of our control. We don't know what's happening with it. Um, and ultimately, it can change. So, so instead of trying to predict something that's unpredictable, stay in the moment. Every time that your mind wants to wander into the future, pull it back. Talk to yourself, say, I'm gonna stay in this moment. Everything is fine in this moment. I have a roof over my head. I have food on the table. 
I um, am going to trust. And that is the biggest thing. I would always have a mantra every time I started to have fear. I would stop in silence and I would sit there and I would just say to myself, just trust, trust. We will get through this. This is going to be okay. What's meant to happen is going to happen. This will get us to a stronger place and I will learn to be resourceful. And at the end of the day, I know I'm going to trust in a higher faith and a higher belief system to know that whatever I am supposed to be in this life, wherever my soul is supposed to be, it's going to be looked after in the way that it's supposed to be here on this earth. So that is uh, all I really want to share with you. And um, I wish you all the best, everyone. I know it's tough times, but I hope this little bit, stay in the moment, trust, know we're going to come out of it have faith, have belief. And if you've never had faith, start looking to it now because you know what? It's hard to believe in something that is not seen or something that is, you know, invisible to us. But I do believe that there is a higher power of something, whatever your belief is. And, uh, and at this time, it's good to, good to tap into that. Bye for now, everyone. Mm -hmm.